Well guys, I've made my way back into the North Woods and the calendar has now rolled over to November. It's Wednesday, November 1st, and I'm really excited for this time of year as a grouse hunter because when you get to this time later in the year, all the leaves are down, the birds have been hunted for a month and a half. It really gives you an opportunity to see exactly how good your dogs are. Um, the grouse start acting differently. The, um, the young and dumb ones have been shot. All the birds have smartened up. They've all been hunted and all the cover's gone. So the birds have easier escape paths and the dogs have to start working the birds a little bit differently than they have been for the last month so i'm excited to see how the dogs do on this trip how they react to the birds and how many shot opportunities we can get and second another thing that i really like this time of year is this week exclusively it seems like is a few days plus or minus halloween right when all the leaves have just fallen down all the foliage has died it's like those grouse have been living in that type of cover for the last six months of their lives and then all of a sudden it goes away and it takes them about a week to shift their habits a little bit. The birds are still going out to the same openings, um, the same spots, and all that cover is gone now though so they don't know quite how to react to it and right now i feel like you can get some really good looking shots at rough grouse i'd also like to hear your guys's opinion on that um comment down below if you have any thoughts on this week of hunting rough grouse and your experiences if you you know you see some good looks right here this first week in november right after halloween and even the few days leading up to it but anyways, I've made my way back to a spot this afternoon to an area I'm really excited about. I'm really excited to go into what's behind me. It's an older cut, um, but I think that it should be holding birds still. There's definitely birds in the area. And even if there's been any pressure on this side of what I'm going into, the birds should be pushed back to where I'm going. And the reason why I think they might be back there is because let me show you what we're gonna have to cross to get to get back here so that down there is a little dammed up beaver pond on this creek and the path goes across it but you can't walk across it and you can't drive across it but there is a little bit of a bank to the beaver dam over here and I think I might be able to walk it um, I found this spot three years ago when I was just up in the area one day in the summer, my wife and I were up here and we came back here and I didn't run this or anything, but I found it and I knew you'd have to cross this somehow to get back into it to hunt. And I've been thinking about it ever since that day. And I haven't made my way back up here yet, but this afternoon I'm about to see if I can get across that and uh, see what it's holding back there. It's kind of one of those spots that's going to be the Holy Grail or bust. And I guess if it's anything but the Holy Grail, it might be kind of a bust so i'm excited to, to see what's back there and let's let's go show you guys what i gotta get through to hunt back here all right so this is it i haven't walked down here yet this is what we're looking at I got rubber boots I'm going to put on. I might be able to make it across in rubber boots, but I'm not 100% sure. But there is this little part of this dam over here. I feel like you might be able to sneak across that if you had to. But anyways, I'm going to put my boots on and see if we can get across this. I'm probably going to have to change out of what I got right now, just rocking some Crocs on the way up here. But I might be able to flip the heel band back and put them in four-wheel drive. But anyways, I got to get ready here. Let's grab Yeti and go see what we find tonight. You ready to do some exploring? Yeti. What do you think? We might be able to just wade across this. It's going to be close. Nope, I'm taking on water. I don't really like any of our options here. I 
Well, let's see if we can get downstream and cross. If there's a will, there's a way. This don't look any shallower, unfortunately. Come on. Come on. two-thirds of the way. It's a little deep, ain't it, bud? One step at a time. I think we've made it. I had to take a couple detours along the way. But we're to solid ground now on the other side. This has been fun. Let's go grouse hunting. Whew. We made it to the other side here. Come here, Yeti. You ready to give this a shot? Yeti, okay. This is supposed to be the Holy Grail, right? Yet he's been working something here. He relocated once and now he's on point. Right in here. There it goes. Good boy, Yeti. I'm pretty sure I missed. Well, we're gonna follow up on it just for the heck of it. I saw a flash of it getting up. And I had a decent look when I took off. I saw its belly explode in front of me, but I wasn't quite sure where the dog was at. Turns out he was pretty far to my right on point. Oh no, there's feathers here. There's feathers laying here. The dog got birdie right here. And uh, there's a pile of feathers. Here, they're up in the trees. There's a lot of feathers here. There's a trail of them.
Yeti. Yeti, okay. Dead bird, dead bird there. Good boy. Nice work. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, Yeti. Hey, right here. Good boy. Give. Nice work. Thanks for the help on the recovery, buddy. It's one of those kind of intermediate looking birds. It's got some red in it. And it's also gray and silver. Cool looking bird. Thanks for the help on the recovery, Yeti. Come on. Yep, he's on point now. It's 50 yards up here. Just in this little opening where you see this sunlight coming through. That bird beat us. Yet he was on point back there, and I was trying to circle out into this opening a little bit more and pinch the bird between us, but it took off before I could get in there. Dog just started working something again right here. Yet he's on point, that's what the GPS says. He's 60 yards in here. He's a little off the trail some, but he's not too far in there. There he is right there. He's kind of facing that way. I'm gonna swing to the right some. There it goes. I never saw it. Whoa. There goes a second one. And there goes a third one that I missed. Well, I should have just kept cutting this way to the dog, but I felt like if I went this way, I didn't really have a shot. And if I could make it to the dog, in here, I might have a little bit more of a chance. That's grouse hunting. Yet he's working something right over here. He's on point now. He's kind of back this way. I'm going to keep circling out into this opening. Okay, he's in here. The bird hasn't flushed yet.
going to get back to this path. Dog's right there. Dang it. I missed. I saw the bird right next to that stump as soon as I popped out on the trail. I had a decent look at it, but I had to wait for it to kind of cross the dog. Right there, the dog is right there on point. Yeti. Come on. Well, there was a bird in here. And he was running around like mad on us. Just as I decided to call it quits, Try getting out of here. Dog goes on point one more time again. I click the camera on, I turn around, and there goes the bird. Once again, just off the edge of this opening. That seems to be my pattern right now that I'm finding. And once again, these birds are used to being in areas like this where they can come out in these openings and they can dip back into the cover real quick if need be and they haven't figured it out yet that a lot of their cover's gone i wasn't sure if we were going to make it across to get to that spot at first when i got down to that pond i tried to walk across it and it definitely was starting to come up over top of my boot so i had to try and snake my way around through on the low side of the dam where the creek kind of split off in a few different sections and i was able to just make my way through there slowly and eventually we got across and had a pretty good walk ended up finding 11 birds and the birds were sitting well and holding well for us they weren't running out in front of us and that's usually a pretty good indicator to me that the birds haven't been pressured with or haven't been messed with a whole lot during the season if the birds are going to sit there for you and you can get good dog work and good shots um, there's probably not been a whole lot of people that have been messing with those birds. Now, if you go into a spot and the birds are running out in front of you and you're not getting good looks and birds are flushing out in front of you a ways, they've probably been pressured and been quite a few guys in there hunting them and they've, they know the game at that point. But last night we went in there, had a pretty good walk. Birds sat tight for us. I had a few misses on my part. I walked out of there feeling like we had some really good opportunities and I flat out missed a couple of them, but we did come back with one bird that I was able to connect on. Um, so it was a really fun walk overall, really cool experience to do something like that, to try and get back into another section to hunt that I typically don't think there's a whole lot of guys going in there to hunt because if you want to come in from the other side on a trail, you have to sneak off a main road a long, long ways and it's a, it's a tough it's a tough trail to get in there and I haven't come through the other side I just know that looking at the map it's pretty hard to get back in there because it's also bordered by private property so really fun spot to hunt and I've got a few more days here left to be up hunting beginning in November here chasing grouse and gonna spend a few days hunting and see what we run into but until then thanks for following along guys and I'll catch you on the next one Right here.